Hi everyone, hope you're all good. I just wanted to start vlogging about the whole vaccine situation for us clinically extremely vulnerable people. I just wanted to start vlogging this journey and I guess it starts here because I've got an email. I will read it to you. The clinically extremely vulnerable will get priority access to vaccination against COVID-19 before the general population. And in line with the priority ordering set by the Joint Committee on Vaccination and Immunisation, the JCVI, you will be contacted again by the NHS with more information on when and how you will be invited to get the vaccine. The vaccine is likely to make an important contribution towards protecting you from COVID-19. We expect to have been able to offer you the first dose of the vaccine by mid-February. Your local NHS will ensure that you can receive the vaccine as safely as possible as well as any care and support needed. Even if you have had both doses of vaccine, you should continue to follow the shielding advice until further notice as we continue to assess the impact of vaccination among all groups. The groups you live with should continue to follow the public health rules and guidance as long as they are in place, including if you have received the vaccine and if they have received the vaccine. So yeah, that was the lovely email I got this morning and I guess, yeah, that means we will end up getting the vaccine by mid-February, hopefully. Right then, thank you. All right, okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Four to six weeks later. Good morning, everyone. Ignore this. I've just taken it out the bun. I am getting my COVID vaccine this morning and hopefully it should be okay. It's just, I guess it's just like getting the flu jab. I've heard that a lot of people have side effects from the jab, but I'm just thinking either way, like anything you kind of get it's kind of got side effects so i'm just expecting to have like the normal side effects like i had with the flu jab just like feeling a little bit down for the next two days and i'm also gonna hand in a urine sample because i don't know if i've already said this in this vlog but in another vlog i would have said that i have been seeing froth in my urine which isn't good obviously Sorry to interrupt this video, but it is actually me editing this right now. That video is actually up on YouTube right now. I'll link it up here somewhere. Unfortunately, I have actually relapsed. Now, back to the video. For now, I'm gonna shut up, eat my oats because they keep burning on the hob and get back to you once I finish the flu jab and update you. Two hours later. Hi everyone. I just had the vaccine and it was very standard, standard procedure. I went in and it was all socially distanced. It was really good. Oh, hello, Classic FM. It was all really, really safe and went in one at a time. I was a little bit nervous because I hate needles. It happened very quickly. I'm going to insert a little clip now of what happened, but it was all very anticlimactic. Okay. Oh, I don't want to look at the video either because I hate needles so much. Yeah, you ready? I don't know. If... Oh, God. Yeah, you ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so sharp stretch now. <laughs> I'm just going to inject it now. Can you ask more questions? Yeah. Well done. It's all done. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> no. But I've had the jab now and before I went in, they asked me standard procedure questions, which was basically if I am on any blood thinners, if I've had covid in the last four weeks or if i've had any um anaphylactic shocks um in the past just maybe in case i'm allergic to the vaccine maybe and then when i went in there was a really really nice nurse who took me into the way into the room and then a doctor actually did my vaccine for me and she just asked me if i'd been asked the standard procedure questions and i said yes and then she told me straight away which vaccine i was getting and then just went through the whole like potential side effects and she said it's very similar to the flu jab you could have like a little fever afterwards or feel a little bit run down for a couple of days and your arm might just get a bit sore hopefully everything's going to be fine and this is one step closer for our world to getting back to normality the next day i feel like this vlog is gonna be very anticlimactic but kind of in a good way because i've i don't feel any side effects so far touch wood um so far all i'm feeling is like a uh, sore arm and that's normal like if anybody jabs you with the needle you're gonna get a sore arm you know and that's it like i i feel like that was so anticlimactic but i'm kind of glad because i don't really i don't really want any more side effects just have a sore arm that's all i can tell you if you get offered the covid vaccine guys take it ask your nephrologist if you're not sure i wasn't sure whether i was allowed to have the covid vaccine because of my situation and my, my nephrologist was just like, yep, yeah, go for it. You can have the vaccine. That's all chill. I think that's all I can say, to be honest. If you don't follow me on social media, follow me on social media. Subscribe. Like this video if you found it useful. 
or if you just like to see me get jabbed in the arm. Thank you just so much everyone for supporting this channel as well. And just, it's grown so much and it makes me very happy. That's all I can say. I have a sore arm. That's it. <laughs> Bye.